Last week we went on a bike ride to McKinney Ruff's Nature Park. The trails were all dirt and rock, and while we were there, Julie had a pretty good wipeout. Our bikes came back pretty dirty. So we thought this would be a good chance to show how we wash our e-bikes and some of the maintenance I do periodically. First I gave Julie's bike a thorough check for damage from her crash. The gear shifter right here. Yep. Did it up good, didn't I? Mm-hmm. Jiffy wheel alignment. Any major damage, just I think little scuff marks on your gear shift. So, when you get ready to wash your bike or anytime you're going to be in a wet condition, the very first thing you want to check for is to make sure that your battery plug is in place. Our motorhome has a handy outdoor shower, and this is what I use. But an outdoor garden hose will work fine. After rinsing off the bike, I take a little dishwashing soap on a microfiber towel and soap it up really well. After thoroughly drying it, I'm ready to lube everything up. Good. Mm -hmm. This is what I recommend, the WD-40 dry lube. So after a good wash, one of the very first things I like to hit is going to be the chain. So what I'm going to do is pour just a little bit on the rag 
Jump in, bring it on the chain. And just like that. You want to go sparingly. You don't want to have to put a whole lot on it. Just go very sparingly on the chain. See all the gunk that comes off of it? And that's what you want. You want to have a clean chain so it rides nice and smooth. Another thing you want to lube up is going to be your pedals. Right here. Put, you have springs in here. You put the lube right in there. You just want to squirt just a little bit down in there on both sides. And just wipe off the excess. And just work the pedals back and forth just a little bit. See how smooth they work? Kind of just put it on top like that. I just put my finger in there and just rub it around. Make sure it gets into the crevices. Spin your pedal around. Once again, just kind of wipe off the excess. Do your derailleur. Derailleur right here. So you put some on your rag just a little bit. And just come right up here. And kind of just work it in there. And then take it and back up a little bit. Repeat. Get it in there pretty good. Back it up. Try to work it in there as best you possibly can. Then the same thing right here on this part of the derailleur. Right here. So you want to squirt some just a little bit on your rag. Do the same exact thing, kind of just work it in there. Then you want to put some here on the wire so you can take whatever excess you have on the rag and just put it on the wire or the shifting cable. Then what I like to do is come up here, as you can see right here, on your sprocket. And as I go around, just kind of just go like that. Glue it up the best you can. And just keep going around with it. Take your rag. Wipe off some of the excess. Work it around. Put some on this side right here. Anything you have extra on your on your rag, you can just start just wiping down parts. Kind of put on any hinge points that you have. Same thing from up here. Take your excess that you have on your rag and just swipe it down a little bit. Same thing with your hinge points right here. And just take it and rub on the hinges. We've never had any problem with our hinges being stuck because we always lube them up just like this. Don't try to put a whole lot on there and make a mess. Just kind of just wipe it in there. So then over here, you have your brake caliper, stuff like that. Start getting in there. 
wiping things down, trying to get the lubricant in there. Same thing, wipe down your, your cable. And then it's important as you wipe down your cable, you sit there and squeeze your brake. And try to squeeze any lubricant up in there a little bit. Anything for the back. Everything feels pretty good. So this is the um, polishing that I use. And it helps also take off any kind of like uh, salt or anything or that if you rode on the beach or whatever. If when you wash the bike up, you may still have some salt on it. So you want to spray this on it and wipe it down with, the, once again, with these microfiber rags. And that will take any of that extra stuff off that you might have missed. So what I do, I come up here and spray it on the bike. You don't have to use a whole lot a whole lot up in this area right here and just kind of get my my rag wet with it I just start going around and polish everything up